Hi guys, welcome to today's video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking with the CEO of Charge Express. In case you don't know, Charge Express is a charging station, right? So if you need to charge your EV, uh, you are in town and you need to charge your EV, you just need to come over to Charge Express. They have a beautiful system, which I'm about to show you. And um, yeah, let's talk to the CEO and get more information on it. Let's go. All right. What about light off? What if there's light off? <laughs> what happens? How do you charge if there's light off? Oh, I mean, I mean, right, right. <laughs> so this guy is done charging, right? Yeah. Yeah, done charging. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Amazing. When it comes to care of the battery, I advise you to read your manual because there's particular particular manufacturers, there's particular battery chemistries that they use yeah. and they have all the guidance in there about what to do and Ooh. how how to this manual thing I guess you don't need manual <laughs> we buy the car we just have to charge we move and that's yeah, all yeah. so yeah all right so Jeremy yeah. nice to meet you nice to meet you too so tell us a little bit about Charge Express what do you do here uh, well Charge Express what we do is uh, we do DC fast charging mm -hmm. for electric vehicles so okay. traditionally, people are worried about charging times mm. for EVs, mm -hmm. right? You know, they think it takes hours on end. But Charge Express, we're trying to bring that to charging experiences 30 minutes or less. 30 minutes or less? Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> for real? <laughs> yes. So all these cars charging here, within 30 minutes, they are off. They can get 20 to 80 percent in 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah, less than 30 minutes. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And is it any EV that can charge here? Yeah, we have adapters to serve any type of EV. So really, any EV can come here, come and plug up, charge 24 hours a day. We're available. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You heard it, guys. Any EV can come and charge 24 hours a day. So why 24 hours, though? Uh, we, you know, when it comes to EVs, so people are worried about being stuck in the middle of the road. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we had a product that people knew that any time they needed a charge, if they had lights out at home, yeah. if they had any kind of complication, they can here, always come here. Available wow. to them. So there's always somebody stationed here when they come, or it's self- um, so, so we do have somebody stationed here to help because we know the technology is new and a lot of people are not truly conversant with this. But we do have an app. We have a tech enable platform that people can be able to start charge themselves and our attendants can help you. Oh, okay. So there's an app I download. Yes. And okay. once I download it and I come here, I just need to plug in. Plug in. And, and you can start a charge. You can stop a charge. You can make the payment through the app. Anything that you need. Wow. Okay. Wow. Can you, can you show us how that works? Of course. Okay. So let's say I came here with my own car yeah. and I want to charge. What do I do? Okay. So I guess you have to download it on your phone, but I'll show you with mine. Okay. So you can just go to the Charge Express app. Okay. It loads up like this. And currently we have two stations. We okay. have the station here at ANC Mall and we have one at the Manage Junction in Spintex. Okay. So see, we can just pick the station here. It shows us the amount of connectors available. We go in to pick the app and then we're able to pick a connector and just click charge now when okay. it's connected. So over here there are four connectors. Yes. So is it here like where, where are the connectors here? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do I know which one to pick? Right now they are performing charges now, but you see they are labeled. Okay. So you see gun one, gun two, and on the other side. Oh, gun okay. Three, gun okay. Four. So you know which one. Can you see that? So you can see the difference charges there so in the app i can see connection four is available right yes exactly so we've so come over on the other side yeah if we come over to this end you can see that connection four is the one available okay right. oh nice yeah so that's it i'll just plug it in you plug it in now. and then you hit charge now and you'll be able to start to charge with the app oh, very simple very simple <laughs> wow. so when it's done it alerts me that it's done so exactly so it loads up it loads up on the app and it'll tell you exactly where you are it will tell you the percentage that you are seeing so as we are we are charging a few cars right now uh -huh. so i'll allow you to just come and look at this so what happens now is you go into a go into a charging session like i said there's a few cars charging now uh -huh. so all we are trying to do is we're trying to load up so you see okay. what's here so here it gives you some key information right uh -huh. It's telling you that 14.64 kilowatts of energy and the estimated cost is around 80 CDs. 
and it's been charging it's been charging for that duration so you see it's up to wow. 84 percent now yeah wow yeah or you could go back and then you can check on the other one that's charging but either way the idea is to keep you updated so if you came here you're having a coffee you're eating a meal or you went to max Mart to shop i can just check and you can just check and make sure I'm at. wow so yeah. this one is 96 percent yep which one is this this one this one is this car this here. car oh this car just came like yeah. we're here when it came yep so he's paying about 105 Ghana cds five cds and his car is almost full and he can go with this the whole day he can go about 350 kilometers with that that's <laughs> that can do accra <laughs> basically you can, yeah. you can move yeah. around in accra with that yes 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 wow so, so is that simple is that simple wow that's that's amazing and then you can pay, you know, you can pay through our app, everything that's available. Okay, so payments, everything straight from the app. Straight from the app. Wow. Yeah. This this is the future. I mean like this this is this is the future. This is what <laughs> everyone should be doing, you know. I think Ghanaians are used to fuel attendance. So the people who are transitioning from fuel yeah. cars to this, yeah. How do how do they normally go around about No, I mean so like we said though. The technology is new and we understand that so we have somebody stationed here all the time to help you because again when when you come mm. sometimes you might need an adapter because your car is of european origin or you brought it so it's okay. different connectors oh so right. the european and american cars they have different they have different they have different connectors from the chinese cars oh i so. see so but at this station you can connect with any car i can right? connect with any car so whether it's a european chinese american i can charge here yes wow that's good. Yeah. So most of these chargers are basically fast chargers. Yes. Because I know the chargers, there's type 1, 2, and 3. Yes. So these are type 3 chargers. These are type level 3 chargers, and that's all that we focus on here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So what if I come with a type 1 car? Does it, doesn't it overload the car or anything like that? So that's the thing. You know, cars usually come with multiple, multiple sockets. Okay. Um, as you'll be able to see. I think I can I can show you on this car here. Oh. Right. So the car will usually come with two different two different types of outlets. Mm. So what you are calling the type one, that will, that's the AC, right? So this is the AC port. Okay. So if you're charging at home, this is what you use. But obviously we have the DC port in use now. So that's the DC. Most okay. cars come with the AC and DC port. Okay. Yeah. So, for those who don't really understand, what is the AC and what is the DC charger? What's what's the difference between the two? Well, I mean, it's just a type of energy, right? Uh, <laughs> okay. The AC charger, that's level one and level two. So, that's the one you can charge at home. And that's the AC charger. Yeah, that's the AC okay. charger. Those ones you can charge at home. They take a, they take a longer time to be able to charge. Okay. For the fast charge, use the DC, the DC charger. So that's direct current. That's so direct current. That fast. It's faster. Okay. It's significantly faster. Okay. So, this... Currently, this is a DC connector. Yes. Okay. Okay. And there's no way you can mistaken, mistakenly put the DC in the AC. It's not possible, right? Well, I'm I'm reluctant to say that. So, <laughs> <laughs> for, for for the Chinese connectors, the AC and the DC are different. Oh. So you cannot mistake it. But okay. for the North American and the European standard, um. <clears throat> The AC, the AC forms a part of the DC charger, so okay. you just need a bit of a of a bigger connector. Maybe I can show you okay. what I'm talking about. Okay, it's big. <laughs> so there's an adapter. Okay, right. So there's an adapter for 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 a, for a European connection, right? Okay. Now the thing about the adapters is for the AC connector, it only uses this uh -huh. you understand but when it's using dc it uses this additional two okay. so that's kind of one of the things in the physical state of the connection but look these cars are advanced computers mm. they have software that's consistently monitoring several key stats yeah it's monitoring the temperature of the batteries me measuring voltage mm. current all of that so even the battery's computer which is called the ban the battery management system it wouldn't allow you to, to charge with them, something yeah. else. But well, it wouldn't allow you to overload. That's a good safety feature. Yeah, it's a very, very important. Very important. Wow. But 
do people encounter any problems when they are charging you? What, what are the common problems people might mm. encounter if they are charging their car? Um, usually, look, you don't, you don't encounter many problems when you are charging your car. It's pretty straightforward. Mm. Um, you come in, you plug it in and it charges. Um, the car does a good job of regulating temperatures. It has, you know, features. Mm. You can turn on a propulsion fan if the battery is too hot to be able to cool it down. Yeah. There's a lot of other features that that. So when okay. it comes to that, um, maybe for optimal charging, you know, when some people are coming on the more advanced cars, the Tesla and the rest, yeah. they can set precondition, right? Okay. Which sets the battery at the right temperature to enable it to charge at its fastest. Really? So those those are the types of things that you can have. But primarily, no, no issues. No, no issues with charge. What about light off? What if there's light off? <laughs> What happens? How do you charge if there's light off here? Oh, I mean, I mean, you know, light off is a fact of life in Ghana, right? <laughs> exactly. You know? But yeah, I mean, luckily, look, we're there, we're at the ANC mall, and uh, okay, solar is one of the the oh. lucky options that we have to oh. be able to uh, look at integrating it with what we do, to be able to ensure that that reliability is there, so that whenever you come, there's no. Oh, okay. There's so, no. is that one of the reasons why you chose ANC mall? <laughs> that that is one of the reasons why. I wow. Chose so even yeah. if there's light off all around. We can come and charge that with that's, the solar that's power. What, that's what we're trying to make sure that happens. Wow, yeah. That's that's this green energy. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah. It's ex that's the best scenario, actually. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this guy is done charging, right? Yeah. Yeah, done charging. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Right now, where's the driver? He's going to eat. The driver is going to eat, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he thought he thought it would take longer than he actually <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so over here, you can just charge four cars at a time, I can right? charge four cars at a time. Okay. So if I come and there are more cars, I just have to wait, right? Just the bar. That's it. That's one of the issues people always yeah, come but up with. But but I mean, that's a, that's a rare occurrence. Look, as the demand goes up, mm. we hope to be able to expand. Expand and get more charges. Make sure that we eliminate wait time yeah yeah because i always say that i feel like charges should be in places where we spend most of our time exactly. you know like church we should have a charger in the churches in yeah. office complexes you know places where yeah. you naturally can park your car for a long time exactly if there's a charger there it makes it very exactly. simple exactly so yeah i'm sure very soon we'll see charge express everywhere <laughs> very that, very soon that's the plan <laughs> So tell me, I think one of the main things people are always doing is comparing the petrol prices to electric charging prices. Give us a nutshell of what, <laughs> what's, what's really happening. <laughs> um, so, I mean, look, I don't, I don't, I think when it comes to EVs, I think the price of the batteries in the EVs have dropped to a point mm. that it makes this economically feasible. Okay. And um, I think we're at the point in EVs where charging an EV you know, it enables it to cover a certain significant distance, right? So when you compare, I think with one of these cars mm -hmm. uh, that just finished charging, I think we, I think this one just charged it for yeah, about. Yeah, this one he paid about hundred and five. About that, I think he charged maybe a bit more, and that's like a full tank. That's a full tank. Yeah, and I know that there's no way I can get a full tank with hundred and five Ghana cities <laughs> if I was buying petrol because even my car. Uh, Kia Spectra, I spent like 400 for a full tank, <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, yeah, so. Uh, clearly. Yeah, so so he's done. So I think his final bill was 114. 114, yeah. That's cool. So with this, he can drive throughout the whole day. Like, he, can. he has over 300 plus kilometers that he can use for just 114 Ghana cities. Yep. Like, uh, I don't know what a game he wants. Like, <laughs> honestly, like, this is... Like it's a no brainer. Why do you think a lot of people are not switching to EVs though? Well, I think I think you know there's maybe a lack of information around mm -hmm. EVs. A lot of people are worried about maintenance, parts, if something goes wrong. But there's several, you know, workshops emerging with yeah. very capable technicians now who are working on EVs and allowing yeah. them to, to work smoothly. Yeah. And I think in a commercial sense, maybe that that should be the one that study because they do hundreds of kilometers a day. Yeah. They are still able yeah. to keep the cars on the road. So that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I think that's that's very, very clear. I get a lot of people always coming to me about price of EVs. Mm -hmm. 
and the pricing starts from high high numbers like we are in the twenty thousands of dollars and cool so <laughs> Can we get EVs at a cheaper price or a better price? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's up to your budget. You know exactly what you are looking for. Mm. Um, I think, look, yeah, sometimes, and sometimes when you look at EVs, right, we look at their, their petrol counterparts, and I think the prices are also, you know, yeah. you know 20,000 20, and above in some of the cases. So I think it's what works for you. I think the most important part is the savings that it gives you over a long period of time. That should also be kind of factored into uh, what you are what you are purchasing you know, okay. you are because it's a lot easier on maintenance and then it's much cheaper on operation. So. Mm, okay, but also about the batteries, right? When you charge, I know the batteries um, they they lose their power over time, right? Yeah. yeah. So much like an engine. Yes, yeah. much like an engine. <laughs> So when you charge over here, does it? I heard when the fast chargers normally run down the battery. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, at, over time, you know, charging runs down the battery, right? Yeah. A lot of studies are being done on battery degradation and how it works over over time. And um, I think when EV started, mm. there were certain battery chemistries with, you know, NMC, nickel, the nickel batteries, which were shown to degrade. You know, degrade a little bit faster. Yeah. And you have to keep the charge at eighty percent. But nowadays, the uh, car manufacturers are doing a good job at providing guidance, right? Um, when it comes to batteries, about the number of cycles. So really, the car manufacturer okay. will give you the number of cycles, or, know, yeah, or warranty okay. on the battery that's expected to go. Okay. Yeah, some of the EVs, you know, seven, eight year warranty, warranty on the battery. And mm. I've seen some studies that you know proclaim that after five, six years, I think a battery maintains about 85 percent of its of its strength so i mean yeah. it's, it, it depends on that it depends on usage there's a lot of factors mm. that you know battery battery strength or you know battery duration harbors on you know it, re, it, it relies on mm. and those things sometimes it's more than just charging mm. oh dear that guy's in there i'll be now tell you the number all right so the car owner has just come for his car. Yeah. He's fully charged and he's ready to go. <laughs> so when you're charging the battery, is it advisable to charge it full? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. if I'm coming to charge it, it always charges yeah. it to the full, right? No, no, no. So different people, different people, for example, the car over there picked um, 20 kilowatts, right? So he okay. you knows the setting level that he's got. So you can pick any percentage you want to charge your battery up to. Okay. It's not really, it's not, it's like not, really, it's not really an issue. Not everybody comes in charges to 100 okay. percent more importantly i think with the development of charging stations people feel more comfortable you know at first they used to charge 100 percent because mm. you don't know when they come you, the will you be here exactly. will there be power exactly. all those kinds of things you know so there were those questions they used to charge, but nowadays you know there's a lot yes. more comfort so yeah. charge an 80 percent they do their rounds but again i yeah. would when it comes to care of the battery i advise you to read your manual because there's particular particular manufacturers there's particular battery chemistries that they use yeah. and they have all the guidance in there about what to do and Ooh. how how to this do. manual thing I just don't read manual <laughs> <laughs> we buy the car we just need have a charge we move and that's yeah, all yeah. so yeah read your manual very mm -hmm. very important read your manual yeah i think what i think when customers come they need anything to really push the adoption of evs mm. and yeah, we don't see out our, our, our aim is really to enable confidence right and enable you know some comfort with the use of EV. So anything that we can help with the associated um, infrastructure, we do. We have partner workshops that we link cars mm. to if they have some problems. Mm. And if you want us to advise you, our technicians to help you on a home installation, we'll do that. Okay. So you have technicians. You have basically, I can I cannot just charge my car here. I can get a whole. Um, how should I say it? Mm -hmm. Diagnostics of my car. From... Your car, we have, we have a partner workshop that we work with, so we recommend them to oh, call okay. us if you need something looked down your EVs. But charge the first person, we don't do that, but we can recommend somebody. Nice. But nice. when it comes to charging, yes, charging solutions is something we offer. Nice, nice, nice. All right, Jeremy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's been a yeah. pleasure. I've learned a lot about the whole charging infrastructure, mm -hmm. and I'm sure whoever owns an EV will definitely come and pay you a visit. Definitely. We <laughs> also. Right. Sure. Right. Thanks. <laughs> All right.